like a rhinestone cowboy. Dun, dun. What is up, everybody? We got some Dark Souls 2 here again. This time we're in the shaded woods. And like always, I got all the secrets, all the little cool stuff that you probably missed. And I'm also gonna show you where to get this awesome ring that people say might be the best ring in the game. At least uh, I've heard a lot of people say that it's so good, it's kind of like cheating. They've actually killed bosses without even touching them, taking away almost like 80% of their health just from the ring. It's supposed to be super powerful, so I'm going to show you guys where it is. I'm actually going to backtrack a little bit. You might remember this part from one of my other videos. I showed you guys how to get in this room right here. And we got a dull ember when we were at the Iron Keep. So we're going to bring it to this blacksmith right here. And now we can add different properties to our weapons. Like if we want magic on them or fire, poison, lightning, whatever you want. So we give it to them and we have the choice. You can actually mix and match, so if you want lightning and fire on the same weapon, you can do that. It's pretty awesome. And you use those uh, magic stones, raw stones, all those different stones you get, that's what you use to upgrade them. There's also some people who sell them, the little merchants, so go ahead and upgrade your weapons. Now we're in the Shade of Keeps. This is the, the first little part you walk through right here. And you can either go left or right. We're going to actually hug the right side of this the whole time. And there will be invisible people shooting at you, so uh, we just try to avoid them. But basically we just hug this little wall right here. And he started shooting at me. And basically, I didn't even try to fight him. I don't even know if he could. I looked around, I couldn't even see him. So I just kept going this way. And look what we got here. A really heavy chest to open. Wow, 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 he's a very nice. Hey, now that we got that ring, um, we're gonna face parallel to where the chest is facing and just walk straight right through these trees right here. Keep on going forward and you'll come to this chest. And we got an awesome ring right here for your sorcerer. And I believe this one makes you cast spells faster. So that will come in handy. It's an upgrade to my old ring. And if you die right there like I did, um, the bonfire, you just keep on going up, there's a bonfire, but um, I already visited the bonfire, so I'm going to backtrack, and you're going to make your way left from that bonfire. If you didn't make it to that bonfire, then just keep continuing on the right side how we were going earlier. And eventually, you'll end up to this spot right here. But we're going to go up this little ledge right here and see what's in this chest. Maybe something cool, maybe not. Can't really remember. But we're about to find out right now. Open this bad boy up. Chlorine 3. Oh, that's the ring that uh, makes your endurance stat or your stamina come back faster. So, pretty good for a lot of you guys. Now, at this bonfire, that guy that I'm shooting right now, he will be frozen the first time. You need that big lore, whatever fragile branch. You know what I'm talking about. You go over there and you unlock him. He's gonna drop this key, the Fangs key. And once he does that, we can make our way in here. Don't step in the little yellow orange pits because it does destroy and break your armor. Now, this is the first time I was in here. I didn't know that and I thought it was cool. And just, you know, I'm just gonna walk in the little orange spots, you know. That's pretty cool. And then all my stuff started breaking. Now basically we can go in the right cave or the left cave right here and there's a door right there the right cave we got a little twinkling tight night probably your little twinklers out there don't be a noob and attack this merchant right here i thought it was a crow person like the ones in the last dark souls so i immediately attacked and i didn't realize that this is one of the best merchants in the game have some of the best weapons you're gonna trade your boss souls and she's gonna give you some awesome weapons so Luckily, we can come back here and there'll be a tombstone and we can pay a price. So, we didn't mess up that bad. For the next part, we're going to need a special ring because we're going to do something very special that he did. you guys probably Hi. didn't know about. We're going to talk to this pussy right here and we're going to get this ring, the Ring of Whispers. You can hear voices of the foes. And once we get the ring, when we see the scorpion he guy, He's probably by far the coolest guy that I've seen in here so far. I'll tap that. Oh, we're gonna wear that ring and now we can hear him talk. 
and now he will help us with the boss fight and he will also teach us a cool little gesture so after you go through and exhaust all his conversations uh, you will see a summon sign in front of his sister or the boss and we can summon him in and if we beat the boss then we get a cool gesture okay before we get to the uh, boss fight that guy right there if you unlock him there's a chest which has a nice item and it also gives you another branch so you won't be wasting one on him so here's a little hole right here and if you remember from my last video we found this old guy in the chair and remember I said if we talk to him three times he unlocks a bunch of awesome stuff this is the second time that we found him so we just got one more and we're good hey now we're outside the boss area we're gonna summon this guy because he just he looks so cool we're gonna pick another random person to summon and we're gonna make our way in here get some little scorpion action go through the pot smoke and you will be where the scorpion is I don't know if it's like a baby right there or what I can't really see but this boss is actually fairly easy I didn't find it difficult at all this was the first time I went in here and we actually failed I don't know how but I started off failing and just failed from there. The scorpion guy is actually not very good. As you can see there, he almost uh, got half of his health taken away with one little hit. But we do need to bring him in here and do all this because we want that cool little gesture. Because you know, the more gestures you have, the cooler you are. I don't know what happened there. He just let him stab him in the back. But the attacks are pretty easy to avoid. She does a little, tries to stab you, and then all you gotta do is just roll around and kite her around the room. But you see, the Scorpion, I think it's his brother or something, got killed pretty easy. But here's the second time I went in here. Basically, I just kept casting this, and then I would dodge the little attacks. So pretty predictable, and it does the same thing over and over again. I have pretty high magic defense, so I didn't really need to worry about that. But you see, she just misses, misses, and then she does that, and just keep hitting him. She does go underground for a little bit, for a second, and all, all you do is run around. That's what I did, and she popped back up and did the same, same thing over and over again, and pretty much it, and I killed her pretty easy. After we kill her, we're gonna wanna go back to the spot where Thanks. this guy is, and he's gonna give us that, that branch of yore, um, and we're gonna I'm learn afraid. a gesture. So awesome. Well, I appreciate you guys for watching the video and staying tuned with me. If you're a Dark Souls 2 junkie, you're going to want to subscribe. It's going to be a necessity. You're going to want to know all the secrets, all the little tricks. You're not going to want to miss anything. And I'm the only one who's going to give you everything you need to know and do it quick. I've seen some walkthroughs that take over an hour and you sit there and watch them the whole time and they still are missing all the important stuff. So let me be your guide to Dark Souls 2.